Hey Pinners, it's Michelle Hud from Pintalk.net and today I'm going to cover adding some, a layer of security to your Pinterest account so you can uh, prevent it from being taken over or hacked or uh, just losing control of it. Uh, if you like this video and um, find it helpful, subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll I always upload uh, videos switching from away from the weekend thing probably to uh, month, Tuesdays actually is when we're going to be uploading videos. Found that it just gets a better reach. So uh, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, you get a notification. Of course, I put a blog post with the videos on the website or uh, on a set up your Pinterest account series right now. And of course, connect with me on Pinterest as well. So let's and then I put everything on Twitter too. So I was just in there looking at some stuff. But here we are on Twitter. So let's go back to our Pinterest accounts. And if you come over to Pinterest and you want to enable this extra layer of security, come into your profile and then settings and I'm going to blur out my email address right because that's insecure so what we want to do is come down to this nav tab right here security and then what you can do is require a code at login so what that means is if I turn this on and then along with entering my password I will actually have to enter this code every time I do something very insecure and I have the browser remember my my login. I have Chrome remember it for me. And I'm going to flip that on a second and show you how it works. You can also, while you're in here, give yourself a little bit of audit. You can look at the apps that you have authorized to your Pinterest account. So I'm using Buffer, not so much using Shares anymore. I use, this is a great app for productivity, if this, then that. I've done a, on my other channel, MetroNY.com, I did a review of it. And then Polyvore, Horse Around with. I don't sell anything, but I like figure out how it interacts with Pinterest. So you can look at these sessions here and see where there are other logins. I was actually in here right before we shot the video and I saw that there was a login from Virginia and it was actually from today and I'm not there. I'm of course in PA and you can see my IP and uh, so I ended the activity on that session. You can see when we had our router switch too. So if I come back to security and I switch require this code at login it's going to ask me to confirm my password right here and then pop up a code for me. So let's use our our code right there. And it's going to ask me for a cell phone number. And I'm going to enter in. Which is going to get blurred out. And it's going to text that to me. I have my phone sitting right next to me. So I got that notification if you heard it. And now I have a security code for Pinterest. So every time I log in, so I'm going to enter in right here, which also is going to get blurred out. But for the sake of the video, let's go through the steps. Now I have that done. So there's my backup code. So now I have a pin to log in and I have a backup code. And uh, I'll be changing it at the end of this video anyway. So I'm going to click done. And now I have, I can save those settings. And that's it. So that's how you add this other layer of security. And I get emails all the time about people who want to switch their email address or who got locked out of their account. So you might want to consider adding this layer of security to your Pinterest account. So I hope you found this video helpful and you like hit the like button below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, check out the website for Pinterest tips, tricks and tutorials and pintalk.net and connect with me on Pinterest <clears throat> and also on Twitter. Carry on Pinterest.